Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I am because my gas cramps are gone. <laughs> Thank God. Those were, oh, those were horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I wouldn't wish those on my worst enemy. Like, they were bad. Um, but, oh, I wanted to tell you. So, um, I know, I don't know if a lot of you, a lot of my subscribers have TikTok or like Instagram or things like that where you could see it. It's probably on Facebook, but you know that tomato fed up TikTok, like the, the pasta dish that they make. Well, let me tell you. So I made it last night for dinner. Um, I was going to do a video, but it's hard to do a video on my phone because when I do a video this way, I can't click uh, any buttons to flip it so that I can show you what I'm doing. So, but anyways, so, um, I did it, I made it, but instead of the pasta, I use zoodles. So the zucchini noodles, oh my God, so good, so good. And I also, um, I had some chicken, um, like the little chicken strips, um, and, uh, I marinated them in, um, uh, not the breaded ones or anything, just like the plain, just like chicken strips, um, like a chicken breast. And then you just cut it in strips and I marinated it in Italian salad dressing overnight. Okay. I, um, I cooked up the chicken and then, um, I threw the zoodles in with the chicken just to warm them up because if you let them cook too long, they get mushy and gross and it's just, and they fall apart and it's disgusting. So, um, I did that and then I threw that into the dish with the already baked up, um, feta and tomatoes. Oh, it was good. It was so good. So good. Um, if you want to know how to make it, um, let me know and I'll see if I can figure out how to do a video on how to do it. But I didn't use, you're supposed to use cherry tomatoes. I didn't have cherry tomatoes, so I just used, um, two, uh, small, small sized tomatoes. I just cut them up. Um, and I put olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper on them, um, and then mixed them. And then I made a, a hole, like a well in the middle of the baking dish. And that's where I put my piece of feta. It was just a small piece. And, um, I put some olive oil on it, some, um, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder on it as well. Um, and, Oh my God. And then you put it in the oven, you bake it at 400 for like, I baked mine for 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, pulled it out, mixed it all together. Cause at that point your feta cheese is soft. So you mix it all together. And then, yeah. So then I did, you know, I baked my, or I cooked my chicken and my zoodles on the side, threw it all in together, mixed it all together. Oh, delicious. That Italian zing, like the, uh, the Italian salad dressing zing that went with it. Oh, so good. So good. So if you go to make it, um, let me know, or if you'd like me to make it and do a video, I can do that as well. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, I get really excited when I talk about food. I don't know. I don't know if that's still necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I do. I get excited to talk about recipes. I get excited to talk about food. I get, I just, I get really excited. <laughs> like I, I love food. Food, I think my love for food will never end, even though there's a lot of things that I can't eat now that, you know, make me throw up or give me gas or, you know, whatever. I still love it. I still love it. I will always love it. It'll be, it'll, I don't think it'll ever be a love hate relationship really anymore like it used to be. Um, but yeah, it'll be, I, I will always have a love for food. It is what it is. But, um, yeah. All right. You guys have a good Wednesday and we will talk soon. Bye.